This building was actually built as a chemistry department and there'd been a tradition of, of teaching chemistry courses to biologists, now it's a, a biology department. So um, there was a feeling that, that, that maybe the students were uh, not enjoying their, their, the chemistry course as much as they, they could do because it was being taught from the, from the point of view as a, of a chemist. And I trained as a chemist, but, but it, it became obvious that, that we really needed to, to redesign the course uh, for the needs of the students who'd come here to, to read biology. The main changes I, I made, well, some of them were, were, were begun by my predecessor in, in this job, uh, a guy called Olivier Clorek, um, who had started to, to use Moodle uh, a lot, and uh, I added to that, so I moved more and more material on, online uh, on, on Moodle, and, and also uh, started putting a lot of, of quizzes on, on Moodle to try and get the students to do the reading, the textbook reading, and the work uh, before they got into the lecture theatre because it became obvious that that was really important if they were going to get a lot out of the lectures. So uh, I started asking the, the students to, to do these little online quizzes uh, before each lecture um, and, and, and that, was, that was helpful and I started making the lectures more interactive by using clickers, turning point uh, uh, technology to, to ask them questions. Uh, it's a big group, it's 120 students, so it became obvious that it wasn't enough just to point at students and ask them questions because some of them would be great and some of them would be shy and, and you, you wouldn't get the answers. So with, with clicker technology you can see everybody's answer up there on the screen, you can, you can then talk about what's going on and, and get them working in groups to, to do some, some problem solving rather than just listen to me all the time. So moving stuff online, making lectures more interactive, redesigning the labs uh, around the, 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 the core competencies that I wanted them to develop in the course, uh, and uh, online forums using a, 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 a website called Blickbook uh, to, to get them talking to each other online, um, using their cell phones to, to communicate with each other as they, as they love to do. Um, those were the, some of the things that, that, that I did. The, the benefits, I suppose, is the students enjoy the course. That We, we can see that in the, the student evaluations and the, and the feedback. Uh, they, uh, they, they, they like the, the activities, the online stuff, as well as the, the, the lectures and the labs. Um, they, they, they appreciate that. And, and the exam results uh, have, have improved. Uh, in the time that I've been here, uh, five years teaching the course now, um, uh, it's it's difficult to to really measure what what students are learning. But I guess those are the two proxies that we use: student satisfaction and and, and how well they do an exam. The the challenges were, first of all, I, I guess fiddling around with Moodle a lot and, 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 and making it do what I wanted it to do. Uh, not just Moodle, but, but the other software that I've used. So I guess when you, when you use technology for teaching, there's a learning curve to go through when you're, when you're learning about how to, how to use the software. Um, and on a, on a personal level, there was the challenge of spending a lot of time on this stuff uh, because even just teaching one course, because I, I, I teach all of the course, I do all the lectures, I do all the lab, uh, it, it takes up a lot of time to prepare everything uh, f f for that. If you're going to teach it in this way, it's quite labour intensive. Um, lots of marking, lots of time preparing. So, so that was a challenge, of course. Like all my colleagues, we don't have an infinite number of hours in the day, so, so I had to find ways around that. I'm yeah. I'm continuing on my my, my path, you know, to, uh, uh, to 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 use online stuff more and more. This year, I'm planning to to put half of my lectures online, so I'm recording them as screencasts using uh, Panopto Recorder uh, and uh, my my one of my tablets. Uh, so I kind of give the give the lecture online, ask them to watch that before they turn up, take a quiz, and then I'm using a. Uh, a new uh, 
website called uh, Learning Catalytics uh, to turn over half of my teaching time just to problem solving. Uh, and rather than just asking them multiple choice questions, uh, as with Turning Point, I'm going to use lots of different question types. So they'll be drawing chemical structures on paper and, and taking photographs with their, with their mobile phones and, and, and so I can see what they're doing in, in kind of real time um, and uh, uh, asking them to, to, to draw graphs uh, and to give me numerical data, lots of different question types and, and, and getting them working more and more in small groups uh, so that they're spending more of their time practicing what I've taught them uh, and, and less time just, just listening to me. So we'll see how that goes in, in September.